had for was a trial in acute decompensated heart failure patients, where we prospectively, in a multi-center, randomized, placebo-controlled fashion, examined the effect of standardized intravenous loop diuretic therapy plus placebo versus standardized intravenous loop diuretic therapy plus acetazolamide, a very old drug that blocks sodium reabsorption in the proximal parts of the kidney. The primary endpoint was decongestion after three days of therapy. The primary endpoint was extremely positive with a p-value of 0.009 and a 46% improvement in decongestion rates. So significantly more patients were decongested after three days with the combination therapy. The therapy was so impressive that it also led to a reduction in hospitalization for, more, for at least one day. And at the moment of discharge, it was still beneficial. The p-value at discharge was still 0.001. That means that the time that you lose initially, you cannot make up because there seems to be an incremental benefit of the drug over consecutive days. We need to treat heart failure, acute heart failure, aggressively and acutely. And the interventional guys are always talking by door to balloon time. We will now pose the other sentence, which is door to double diuretic time. Double diuretic combination of a loop diuretic therapy plus acetazolamide.